What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. As I mentioned in my last video, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of hacks to deal with pets. These are awesome life hacks for those of you that own pets, such as cats and dogs. They're very helpful, so I hope these come in handy to you guys. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that thumbs up button and check it out. What I have here is a box of sandwich bags. This one was a dollar and there was a hundred of these. These are perfect for when you take out your dog for a walk and you gotta pick up their mess, right? Look at them. They're small, but you can definitely stick your hand inside and pick up your dog's mess. So I'm gonna use some whoppers for this example right here. So let's pretend that this is your dog's poop. It's on the ground and you don't wanna touch your dog's poop when you're taking him or her for a walk, right? Especially if they do their business on your neighbor's yard. Yeah, you don't want to leave the mess there. So always carry a bunch of sandwich bags with you every time you take them for a walk. If you're ever in this situation where your dog pooped on your neighbor's yard, all you guys gotta do is stick your hand inside the sandwich bag, grab the poop, turn it inside out, tie it, and dispose of it. It's just that simple. Now let's say you got a bunch of poop in your yard that you need to clean up. You don't have a pooper scooper. So here's a great idea to make your own. You're gonna need an empty gallon like this one. This is plastic. It's empty like I said. You're also gonna need a blade and a sandwich bag. But you guys can use any type of bag. Basically what we're gonna do first is we're gonna remove the bottom off of this gallon. So I'm just gonna take my blade and cut around it till I have removed the bottom completely. So if you're doing this and you're using a plate, please, please be careful. Now this, you can throw away or use it to feed your dog some food or water. We're more interested in this right here. The top of the gallon, we're gonna remove the cap. We're gonna take the sandwich bag and wrap it around the top of the gallon. And we're gonna secure it on with a rubber band. And this is what it should look like. Like I said, you guys could use a bigger bag for your convenience. Now, if, since this is a demo, I'm using a sandwich bag. So now behind me, there's some poop. And <laughs> no, it's not poop, it's whoppers. But let's pretend that it is poop and then you have a lot of these all over your yard. You don't have a pooper scooper, but you did make your own. So all you guys gotta do is scoop them up like this. And then they will all fall into this little bag which you can later remove, tie, and throw away. So just scoop it. See? They went inside the bag and now I don't have to worry about touching it or anything because that is disgusting. Again, basically all you do is just scoop it up. And they land in there. Simple as that. For this one, if you guys have a cat and you want to keep track of him, you want to know where he's at at all times, well this little collar that you can make for your cat will come in handy. Now what I have here is a fuzzy wire. Yeah, we're going to be using one of these and a little bell. We're going to take a paper clip and attach it onto this bell Luckily this bell has a little hook, so that is perfect. And now this paper clip, we're gonna attach to the fuzzy wire, which we're just gonna put through. When your cat is ready, just wrap it around his neck and then twist it, the end, like this. Now, I understand that it might be a little sharp, so you gotta protect your cat by putting a piece of tape around the end so your cat doesn't get poked. So for example, right here, I'm gonna use some duct tape. Just wrap it around, that way you protect your cat, your cat doesn't get poked. And that's it guys. When your cat is walking around, you'll hear the bell rattle and it'll make that noise and you'll know where your cat is at all times. Now let's make your dog or cat's toys a bit more fun. For example right here I have a toy. This one the squeaker is broken, it doesn't work anymore. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna cut this open and put this water bottle in there. I know that they already make toys that you can switch out the water bottle, but since this one is not one of those toys, I'm gonna show you how to do it with this one. And I'm gonna try to look for the seams, the stitching, and once you guys locate the stitching, you're gonna start to make an incision in, in there. Make sure it's super straight. So that's good enough for me. You guys don't have to make a big old, big old opening, just enough so you guys can stick the bottle in there. Of course we gotta make room for the bottle, so in order to do that we're gonna have to remove some of that cotton that's in there. So I'm gonna take out a handful of it 
like this, just enough to make room for the bottle. All right, that works for me. Next, we're gonna take the water bottle. It's gotta be empty, of course. We're gonna remove the cap, because we don't wanna put the cap in there. We also gotta remove this little ring. And of course, we're gonna remove the label. So all we need is just the bottle. We're gonna stick it inside the little toy, whatever it might be. Right here, I have a football. So that works for me. That is perfect. I'm gonna take some thread and needle and I'm gonna sew this back up, stitch it up, and now we have ourselves a little toy that'll make some noise and that'll keep your pet entertained. Especially dogs, they love chewing on this. Okay, so Christmas just passed and I got a bunch of these for Christmas. Everybody decided to give me a bunch of Christmas cookies. These come in a little tin can, like this. Yeah, the cookies are all gone. But I'm not gonna dispose of this can right away because this will come in handy. I can actually use this to feed my dog. So I'm gonna clean it up, throw away these, and I'm gonna show you how easily you guys can turn this little tin can into a feeder for your pets. Now that it's empty and it's clean, I'm gonna pour my dog's food in there so I can feed them. These are very durable, so give it to your dog and they'll easily eat out of this and it'll last you a while, guys. Instead of going out and buying a bowl, you already have yourself one. If you happen to get a Christmas can like this one for Christmas. And you know what, guys? There's another hack to this. Don't throw away the lid because that'll come in handy because remember, your dog just doesn't eat. They require some water. And right here, I have a $1 bowl that I bought at Walmart. Well, if I give this bowl with water to my dog, he's just gonna hit it with his paw and flip it over and then spill all that water on my floor. And I don't want that. I don't want spilled water on my floor. So this little lid is gonna come in handy. All I gotta do is glue it onto this bowl on the bottom like this. And now it'll be hard for the dog to flip it over because of the lid. So pour some water in there, give it to your dog, and now he'll be able to drink without spilling the water. Now guys, if you decide to make this for your dog, the only difference from this with the real bowl is that this one doesn't slide and this one easily slides. So your pet will have a hard time eating his food. So a good way to fix that is get some Velcro. This one has adhesive so I can attach this anywhere. Of course, one I will attach to the bottom of this can just like this. And the other one I will attach to the floor, but in this case, I'm just gonna use the counter as a demonstration. So there's that. You align it, make sure the Velcro sticks, and that's it. This is not going anywhere. Look at it, guys. Look. See? So now your cat or dog can eat their food peacefully. See, guys? He's not even moving the can at all. He sure loves his food. What I have here are some old socks. They no longer work. They're old. Well, we're gonna put them to use. And for this hack, we're gonna be making our cat a little toy. Basically a little ball that they can play with. And it's so simple. You basically do this all the time when you roll up socks. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna roll up these old socks, turn them into a little ball. Just like that. And now they'll easily be able to play with them. This is so appealing to them, it's so much fun. I'm also gonna do the same to this other pair, but the difference here is, here's my rope and I'm just gonna tie it so I can make my cat run. Now this also is appealing to dogs, especially little puppies. So you guys can play with your puppies as well. Now that you have it tied on, just throw it and then pull it back it's good exercise for your cat when you do this. See? You throw it and then pull it back and they'll chase after it and make them run. That way they get their little cardio in. It's a good way to wear out those puppies that just are so hyper you can't keep control of, like mine. I know a lot of you guys already know this trick, but it's really cool for your dogs. If you guys wanna put a treat inside a tennis ball, you guys can. Just cut it up just a little, make a little slit. Put the treat inside, whatever your pet likes. For example, my dog loves these. I'm gonna put a little strip inside. They can smell it through the ball, so don't worry about it, guys. 
And that's it. The smell will come out through a little opening. They'll be chasing this all over your yard. It's super fun. So for whatever reason, if you don't have your pet's bed available or handy, let's say you're camping, here's a great way that you guys can make them a little bed. For that, you're gonna need some cardboard. And right here, I have the cardboard of a case of waters, which I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna remove the plastic, because I don't need that. All I require is this cardboard right here, because this is what's gonna be our bed for our dogs or cats. So now that we have the foundation for the bed, we're gonna have to wrap it up with something. And right here, I have a little blanket, which I'm gonna put over it like this. And that's it guys, it's so simple. It'll give your pet that comfort of the bed. You just put them on top and that's it. Those are the hacks that I wanted to show you. I hope they come in handy to you guys because they are pretty clever and they are very helpful. So use them if you need them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did guys, please give this video a thumbs up and continue supporting my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. But if you look on the other side, there's a big enough space that you guys can put food inside, such as candy or any kind of chips. And for me, I thought it would be perfect to put in some Takis. I don't know if you guys know of these chips, but they are pretty good. Nothing suspicious. It looks like a regular pencil box that is stocked up with a lot of school supplies. So if you want a chip, all you guys gotta do is lift up the flap like this. Grab a Cheeto. Yummy.